Every year at Canada's Farm Progress Show here in Regina, companies highlight their new inventions and innovations. The Never Spill Spout Company from Niverville, Manitoba has come up with a new innovation, the semi-independent seed opener assembly that can be retrofitted for older air drills. I have a, an air drill at home and I wanted to always get an independent seed opener so that I get better, more accurate depth control when I'm planting. And uh, <clears throat> so what I ended up doing is I took the Concord air drill frame, took all the shanks off and put a new trip assembly on. And the, the spring assembly is a torsion rubber assembly that's clamped around a four inch square beam. And that gives us all the pressure that we need to keep the shank in the ground. And to, to make it independent, depth control, the shank is about five feet long and has a packing wheel at the back side. And you can see that the shank is mounted closer to the back than to the front, which means that um, <clears throat> the de most of the depth is controlled by the packer wheel. Uh, this one is a little bit of an older, older one, but on the newer ones, I want to have the shank about three quarters way back towards the packing wheel, which would mean that three quarters of the depth control is from the, from the wheel and one quarter of the depth control is from the frame. So that's not totally independent. That's why I call it semi-independent. And uh, it has advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages is that if you're seeding, let's say, canola, and you want to go a quarter inch deeper, then you would lower your, your frame about th three quarters to an inch deeper to make the seed go uh, about a quarter inch deeper. At the same time, if you're going through a really deep ditch, the frame height still influence the influences the seeding depth so that you will not have really good perfect depth control in that ditch as a true independent opener has. So I made these uh, last fall. We seeded all the winter wheat with it. It worked quite good and felt quite comfortable going into this season seeding all the crop with it. Uh, it worked really well on canola this year. It worked good on the grains. Uh, on the soybeans, it did not work as great as I hoped to. I have no idea why it did not work as good on the soybeans. Maybe there was something not adjusted correctly. But um, on all the other crops, it worked really good. For about $30,000, $40,000, you can retrofit most air seeders as compared to buying a new one. And then you have very, very good depth control. So it's a, a way to get independent or at least semi-independent depth control without uh, buying one of the more modern machines. That's right, yeah. So if you have a machine that's in good condition, you know, the frame is in good condition, the wheels and so on, and those parts will last a long time, then by changing that you can have, improve your depth control with it. That's right. Yeah. So what is the, the, there's probably a cost per assembly then? Yeah, I'm looking at about $400 per assembly. And um, that would include the wheel, the orange part of the, the assembly and the spring assembly, of course. The, um, <clears throat> I didn't want to get into different types of openers and so on. That's why I felt that it would be just as easy that people would remove the old shank from their machine and then we clamp it onto this one here. And it has several adjustment holes to make sure the angle is the correct angle that you need to be seating at. So. And depth is controlled, if, it, if not by the frame, but, uh, but uh, on, the, on the, the wheel you can control your depth. Yeah. Usually, if you want to change the depth just a little bit, you can just lower the frame or raise the frame. But let's say if you're going from something like peas to canola, where you're, going, you're changing more than two inches, then you probably will have to make the adjustment on each individual opener.